What's up guys? We're back for another autocross video. I am excited. <coughs> I got a good night's sleep. I am motivated. I had breakfast. About to crack me a nice Red Bull here. Now the only mods that we've changed since the last event are R3 coil packs. That's literally it. Uh, no other changes other than that. I'm running a bit more gas this time. Usually I run at half. I'm have it at three quarters. Just to have maybe like a tad more weight in the back. I do kind of feel like with taking the back seats out, it definitely um, interrupted the balance of the car. It's definitely a little more, at least from the last, the last event was very intense with some very tight turns and corners, but it definitely feels like um, the front end is like a little, little off. It's a little more heavy on the front. Um, I need to get myself corner balance, but I need to do other things before that. Uh, hopefully, I can get this big brake kit soonish, and of course, this turbo. Um, once that kit's on, because that kit's gonna shave a lot of weight up front. Um, Frank Mabo just came out with a brake kit. Um, yeah, and the calipers are like I think he said 4.9 pounds or 3.9 pounds, something ridiculous. And the stock setup and the stock rotors are just they're they're pretty freaking heavy um it's like a 304 millimeter brake kit um either way it should be able to fit behind my 17s just dandy but that's that's another story for another time we'll, we will get there but i want to do that and a couple other small things uh that involve you know swapping parts out and changing weights before i do the corner balance and the corner balance is like four and a half hours away from where i live um so it's it's not something I can just like go do easily. I gotta plan things out and, and make it work. But um, other than that, today's course is way different than the last course. I tried to save the picture from the website, but like when you click the picture, it says like the picture is not found on the website or whatever. So maybe I'll take a screenshot and cut it out, but it's gonna look like junk anyway. But it, it definitely, uh, there's gonna be some speed. There's a couple spots where I'm gonna be able to, to bang some gears. Um, it's gonna be fun. Today's gonna be a real fun day. I need to make up for my lack of driving skill at the last event, uh, though I was a bit distracted. Dang, I forgot my freaking tripod. Um, dang it. I don't have anyone here necessarily to record. I'm gonna have to ask somebody to record a few laps for me here and there. Um, I'm cool with a lot of the people here, so it shouldn't really be a problem, but I don't have um, someone to record for me. So we'll see how that goes. I definitely got the GoPro, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get teched in, walk the track, and uh, let you guys know what I think about the course. It's Stuart, Stuart, right? Stuart? Yes, sir. This is Stuart. Hey. We're uh, <laughs> he's gonna hop in for my first lap. Like I said, I don't have anybody to record for me, but uh, my boy Dylan is actually on his way up, so he'll be able to get at least the afternoon runs for me. But I'm. What you think you're gonna get? I don't, I'm going for number one. Number one. Yeah, but right now, number one, first place is 32 seconds, and that's Dan in the 370Z. So. Oh, in the yellow? Yeah. Ah, I rode with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> he number was, one. So um, I'm coming was, for him, uh, but we'll see. I need to really, like, where, because it kind of, the course loops. I, I got a picture now. I'll post it up again. But uh, where it crosses here, a lot of people are messing that up. So I need to really focus not miss that gate the first this first lap i'm gonna take a little bit easy but uh at least in that area so i can get that down but whew, nervous Good for 
first lap? <laughs> All right, that was my third lap, um, down to a 33.5. I need to improve. The hardest part for me right now is like when to shift in the second and then when to downshift again so I'm not bogging the car. So I'm gonna experiment with that on this fourth lap and then I got four more in the afternoon. So we'll see how this goes. All right, well that was my last lap. Um, I'm still mid 33s. I need to, the best is still that 32 from the 370 and they're about to do their run group again. Uh, what I need to focus on is where to shift. Um, what's hindering me the most in this track is hitting rev limiter in first. So uh, these next two laps for the afternoon, I'm gonna try and focus on shifting at a different point. That way I can just stay in second um, and not kind of like unload the car. So I might be a little bit less of a, like a throttle response it'll be lower in the rpms i think i'll be able to stay full throttle from the point the, the new point where i'm going to shift in a second i might be able to stay into second there to go down around the loop and up and around and then when i come back around this last part of it i should be able to i got to break at a certain point so i should be able to break down shift and make the last loop and hit the, the exit so i think that's going to work um yeah, it's sometimes like with these faster courses or even depending on the map um, the make or break for me is where I decide to shift and downshift and whatnot this is definitely not a first gear kind of course my second lap I did all first gear and it was just like rev limiter everywhere and it would like kind of unload the car and act kind of funny so I definitely need to to work on something else but still got four more laps in the afternoon plenty of time to uh, pick up some time so, but um, other than that, the car, phenomenal. She is feeling so good. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, uh, everybody. Just uh, everybody, all the parts, all the people, all the recommendations. Uh, racing line, they're a huge part of my car. Whew. Exciting. Been playing around with tire settings, playing around with traffic control. Uh, they actually, they're giving us four extra runs since there wasn't all that many people showed up today. So we're getting 12 instead of eight. I just finished my uh, my second set of four and the last, what, two or three I did with traction control fully off. Normally I always do autocross with just pressing the button once. It's like a halfway kind of thing. But I noticed in the last corner, like it wasn't making boost like it should. And I looked down and the traction light was coming on. So I turned that off, improved times a little bit. Still not where I want to be at, but uh, there's not really much I can do other than improve on myself. And some of the corners have like rocks and shit, and it's kind of throwing me off, but I just need, now we have four extra laps, I have an extra, obviously, four extra laps to, to do what I can to try and make up some time, but uh, I mean, it's really just me. Uh, the car itself is doing great. My tires are getting a little bald. Uh, next week's autocross in Roswell is gonna be a hell of a time with these since I've been dailying them. It's going to be like another 200 and some miles on them by then, but uh, Lord, I'm having fun. Like, it's great. I'm just trying to make this goal of 32 something, but uh, damn. Now, Dylan's here. He did that, that last one in, in the car. I'm going to try, will you do some, like, on the outside with this last one? So I'll get you guys some outside clips for the day. Uh, I'll turn the GoPro back on and we'll throw them over top of each other, but man. This course is fast, like it is no joke. This it is putting me in my seat like hard. I need to work on my launch a lot. I brought it up to 5,000. I'm still not used to slipping the clutch like it is with this kind of launch control. But I mean, practice makes perfect. So you get 12 launches on the car today. That should definitely help me um, quite a bit. It's a little gravelly here too, so that doesn't help. But uh, once we get it back to the drag ship, and, and I need you know new tires, like I said, but. It'll all come together.
What do you got going on? Uh, we're gonna soften up the suspension a bit. One, two, three, four. So it was at 25 set front and rear. I'm gonna go down to 15 on each, see if it helps at all. I think a little more body roll or a little less stiffness will help keep the car kind of on its side, more grip onto the tires. Hopefully help me in the corners ever so slightly. This is what we're working with here. It's uh, they're pretty beat. There's there's pretty much nothing. The other side's starting to, to de-lamb. See him. See that? They're starting to de-lamb good. So I mean that's that's my traction issues right now. I'm out here having fun. I'm still making better times. This last one. My tires were not having it. I, I didn't drop the pressure between runs. I'll just, you know, whatever, send it. And uh, I wound up understeering to the point where I had to like go around the cone so I just wouldn't, so I wouldn't smash them. And then uh, on the last coming around there, you seen it was just like, not good. So I dropped the pressures a little bit and all for uh, lowering the, what you call it, for the suspension definitely helped out quite a bit. That my second run of this last group, I finally broke in. I, I took a whole second off my time, basically. So it was like 32.5. Um, I'm not gonna send in this hard on, on this run. I'm gonna try and uh, duplicate that one run, that second run of the day, and uh, or second run of this group, and see if I can improve on that. If I could get like 32, 32, 32.20 something, uh, that would be that would be perfect. On a scale to one to send it, how hard are you sending it right now? Um, we're gonna give it a solid 11 out of 10. But not too crazy. Just just enough scent. Last run of the day. How'd that feel? It felt good. Um, let's see what the time was. Hopefully I still broke something. No, I didn't. Damn. But it was uh 32.7, which is it's my second best run today, so I won't argue with it. I broke into the 32s like I wanted to. Um, yeah, tires are beat. I uh, know now I need to. What are you working with here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're quite the sticky monsters right now. But overall, great day. Definitely softening up the suspension helps a lot. I don't know what I was thinking of just leaving it on a stiffer setting for one of the courses that required that. Um, I need to like really write things down and go over there. Okay, well if the car is pushing or not doing this, then do this. Like have like a little chart of what to change if it's doing what. But uh, yeah, good day, good day. Well, what a day. Destroyed my tires. Probably had the most fun at any event I've had so far this year. It was a very quick, uh, very fun course. It was really good. Um, I wound up, I think, fifth or sixth overall. I'll let you guys know when I get home. I didn't wind up getting a more they classed. Since there was like a lot of people not here, the people I'm normally classed with, obviously, were not here to be classed with. So I got classed with, uh, I think his name's Dan, and the 370Z, the guy that was, he had the best time throughout most of the day. And then uh, actually, uh, Gerald in the Corvette, he wound up coming back like in one of his last runs and, and snagging like 31 something. Pretty crazy. I mean, he did, he did really well the last event too. That Corvette is, is starting to kick some real butt. Shout out to, to you if you're watching. I need to ride in that thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 
it was, it was a very good day. I think I would have did quite a bit better if I would have had more grip. And you can see my tires are pretty beat. So I'm gonna try and uh, figure something out this week. I know I won't be able to, even if I ordered tires today, they probably wouldn't be here in time for autocross next weekend. So I might just send it on these the way they are and just get some, you know, some seat time, get out of the house, some content. But um, we'll see. Overall, great day. Um, the tune, like we're on my ninth or tenth revision with Frank. The tune is holding up phenomenally. Like I've, like I've said before, I, I've never had this much power in my life, and I can't even begin to fathom how this EQT is is going to be once it's in the car, especially on some ethanol. I'm not running any ethanol right now. Um, if they sold some here on the weekends, I'd have some in the car, but Amarillo only has it during the week at one spot. It's not even really a gas station, so. Yeah, we got like I said, autocross next weekend, Roswell with the cruise, and the weekend after that we got um, street racing event going down. So hopefully I have tires by then, especially if we're doing. I, I'm sure it's going to be mostly rolls and stuff, but um, hopefully we at least get a big spot and I have some slower cars to play with or something. Fingers crossed. We'll see. But uh, I'm gonna go get some grub. I'm freaking starving now, and uh, that's all I got. All right, just real quick here. Uh, I did wind up getting sixth overall. Not bad for how bad <laughs> my tires are. Um, the back ones aren't nearly as bad, so I think what I'm gonna do for the time being, tomorrow I'm gonna run to Walmart, get some oil, do an oil change, and rotate the backs to the fronts. Uh, they're directional tires, so I can't like rotate them out as normal. But I, I think I should be good with this. But I run more camber in the rear, so where it's really bad on that front, driver's side it shouldn't really have too much an effect i should be able to go and do this next event and be just fine but um i just want to give a huge shout out to all the guys that run the west texas region secca events they're the shit uh this is like the best times of my life really um and now this was the last daytime event for a while so like the next three or at least four four or five I'm gonna go with four. I think the next four events are all Saturday night events. They start at like nine or ten at night, and they go to like one, two in the morning. So uh, we'll be looking out for that. The next event is until June seventh or fourth, whatever early, whatever Saturday there, early June. Um, so we'll be looking out for that. If you're anywhere near the Amarillo area, um, feel free to come join us. It's it's a lot of fun. Twenty bucks your first time. Um, yeah, lots of fun. But I have one clip to show you guys I made on my phone. If you didn't catch it earlier with the kid slobbering on my arm, which was pretty random. Like, I, I barely remember my arm getting wet, and I didn't even look. I was just like, I just like rubbed it on my leg. And I was like, did this kid just like spit on me or something? But I don't know. I'll show you this clip, and then that's all I got. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop. This is crazy. I'm going over my editing, and I, I thought this kid slobbered on me earlier when I gave him a ride in my car, and he legit, look at that, right there. A big <laughs> old slobber, it landed right on my arm. Oh my god. Watch this. It, uh, <laughs> Jesus. This is crazy. I'm going over my editing, and I, I thought this kid slobbered on me earlier. Whatever. <laughs> See you guys later.